this is another application problem. It's very similar. The only difference here is you're not explicitly given the slope. Instead, they give you the coordinates of two points, which is enough for us to find the slope. So it's just like the problem before it where we need to use this formula However, we won't be given the slope exactly. So we actually have to find that first using this formula. And let's pick up what our points are. Remember, these are the x values are ours and the y values are your centimeters. So this sentence here, it says, suppose that the height of a candle is the linear function of the amount of time it has been burning. After nine hours, and hours are the x value, a candle is 21.5 centimeters. That's the y value. This next sentence says, after 21 hours, the candle is 15.5 centimeters. That's the y value. x values, y values. What is the candle of the height after 14 hours? I cannot make that prediction until I know the equation of the line. So first, let's find our slope. This is the x value of the first point, y value of the first point. x value of the second point, y value of the second point. So if I plug these numbers in correctly, it should be 15.5 minus 21.5 over 21 minus 9. I get negative 0 0.5. So then my equation will be y equals negative 0 0.5 x minus x1, which was 9, plus y1, which was 21.5. If I distribute my slope, And then I combine my like terms. We get this equation. So to distribute my slope, a negative and a negative is a positive, and then combine these two like terms, we get this equation. This can be produced to find out what happens after 14 hours. Since it does say 14 hours, that's the x value, which means the 14 will get plugged in where the x was. And so y is in centimeters. So the answer should be 19 centimeters.